Hey, what's up, guys? Um, dude, I am tired today. My sleep's off. I've struggled with sleep my whole life. Uh, why don't I stop boring you about my sleeping habits? I, I feel so bad for the people that cannot fly the Top Mock Studios Raptor. This video is right to the point. I'm going to show you how my setup is. I've already done this before, but I want to do it because I feel tremendously bad, man. I'm flying the F-22 uh, like a bat out of hell. The thing is incredible. And there's nothing worse than seeing these awesome videos and then you bought the product and can't fly it yourself, dude. I'm so sorry for the guys. I'm going to say right now, if you have an Xbox Series S, not X, it, it, it's to the capacity of what that can do, man. You're probably going to need a Series X. There's not a whole lot of price difference between the Series S and the Series X. I have the Halo Edition Series X. I am not having any of these problems that everybody else is having. This video is to help you at least go in the direction of not making your uh, your system crash when you play Microsoft Flight Simulator. MSFS has always been a lot for these systems, but mine, I'm telling you, is flying perfectly for months now. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the setup. I'm going to show you the settings on the game. The best practice is to get your game up and running because, like I said, there's nothing worse than you actually spending money, watching everybody else have fun, and you can't do it. So that's why I'm making this video. Let's first go to how I've set up my actual physical Xbox, okay? All right, guys, here's my actual system. Here's what I have, bottom line. I got a fan for the top and the bottom. Does that help? Who the hell knows, but at least it's not gonna hurt. If that top fan is sucking air out of the top, the hot air, okay? Then I have an external hard drive for my 4K videos. I also have this fan right here that is blowing into this area because it always needs fresh air. Now, in addition to that, I have a internet hardwired all the way into the back of my Xbox, okay? So I'm not relying on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a signal that goes through air and that can be broken up, and your, that's just another thing for your system to have to do is to try to struggle to find the Wi-Fi connection in air. I have a uh, line right into the back, what's it called, the Ethernet. Ethernet cable, right into the back of my Xbox, so that's gonna help the, uh, the internet signal, which this game has to have the internet. Now let's go on to the actual settings that I have in the game that are gonna help you guys out. All right, guys, we're actually in the game. I want you to go to general options. We're trying to limit the uh, data here, okay, to make your game not have to pull so much data. Live real-world air traffic, turn it off, okay? Live weather, turn it off. Multiplayer, it's up to you. If you're playing online and that's your source of fun, don't mess with that one. But uh, all these things individually pull data that's going to re uh, reduce your RAM, okay? Your memory and the hard drive, so to speak. All this stuff. Now, when it comes to cache, down below, I'm going to get there in a second. I don't have my cache on. Some folks do have it on. But I, if the second gameplay gets reduced, nothing's worth it to me. The smooth gameplay is the most fundamentally important uh, facet of the game, if you will, okay? So turn all this stuff on, off, leave uh, the, the photo got, photometry, whatever, on, but uh, delete rolling cache like once a week. I Even though I don't have mine on um, and I have bandwidth at Unlimited, um, I, I still have rolling cache off, you see, you see, excuse me. I still delete it uh, like at least once a week just to make sure. So, again, you're trying to limit what this game has to pull in. If it has to pull in live weather, it needs to go to the internet to do so. All this stuff. Uh, airport vehicle density. Now, I have a, a special add-on, so I have that to zero. Uh, ground aircraft density, I have to 71 because I do like to see the planes on the ground. An empty airport is not realistic. Uh, the vehicles, uh, ships, things like that have no bearing on the game whatsoever. Show multiplayer aircraft uh, doesn't really matter, but I have that off. Now, guys, I've also heard experimental things like deleting the F-35 and reinstalling the F-22. I don't want to be without my F-35, but if it's worth it, if you're going to fly the uh, F-22 just for a couple of days, you can try that. I don't know if that works or not. I haven't tried it personally, but I have heard rumors, and a lot of times these rumors are true. 
Another thing you guys can try is in the actual settings of the actual Xbox, there's reserved space. You're going to want to go to the uh, icon of the flight simulator and press the three bars like, you know, I would consider the start button and go to manage files and you'll find uh, you'll find that in there. You can delete that. Now, I'm not recommending that, guys, because I haven't done it. I'm just giving you options because the whole reason I'm making this video is I feel real bad for the folks that haven't had be, uh, fun with all the hype of the f-22 and they can't fly and they're out the money dude there's that's, that's like taking a swing at me that's that's the worst dude so anyways i hope this helps you guys leave me a comment below if you have any other ideas um and i i really hope this works and, and just hang in there because there's updates coming everybody's aware of what's going on okay the series s is struggling with the uh wasm i don't i don't know that it can handle it i'm just i'm just telling you the truth the series x seems to work fine but i've also heard uh, some of my viewers having trouble with the Osprey. I have had no issues, guys. So you can follow my ways and hope they work, okay? Let me know in the comments below if you got any other ideas. And uh, make it a great day. Later.